Welcome back to the Red Dice Diaries and in this Matters of Fate video we're going to be looking at skills and stunts. So let's crack straight on and talk about skills. Now in Fate Court skills describe your competency at something and they're rated with a number and an adjective on the Fate ladder which you can see there. The higher the number the better the skill. For example if you have a fight skill of three then you're a good fighter, whereas someone with zero skill in fighting is mediocre. Skills are fairly broad in fate in order to keep the list to a manageable size. This does have the benefit, however, that the default list can be used to cover a variety of game genres without too much tweaking being necessary. Skills are normally used for the four main action types in fate. We'll go into them more in a later video, but since they have a bearing on skills, here's a brief rundown. The four actions are overcome, which is tackling some kind of challenge, engaging in a task, or otherwise overcoming a hindrance to your progress. Two, creating an advantage, which is discovering something about an opponent or creating a situation that aids you and your allies in the form of uncovering aspects. Three is attack, attempting to harm someone in a conflict, whether by physical, mental, or social, or emotional means. Or defending, which is the fourth action, which is attempting to prevent someone from harming yourself or an ally. The default core skill list in Fate is Athletics, Burglary, Contacts, Crafts, Deceive, Drive, Empathy, Fight, Investigate, Law, Notice, Physique, Provoke, Rapport, resources, shoot, stealth, and will. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, so I won't go into them now, but if you need more info, the Fake Core book provides detailed explanations of what the skills are and how they can be used in a game. Certain skills also give you additional effects, such as physique and will giving additional stress boxes, as long as you're using the default skill list. Now we'll move on to stunts, and stunts are special little tricks and traits that your character can have that either provide bonuses to or affect the way that a skill works. Characters get three stunts for free at character generation. Taking any more than three lowers the character's refresh by one for each additional stunt taken, which means effectively you're trading in your refresh, i.e. the amount of fate points you're going to regularly get, and versatility for the regular power boosts that stunts can provide. So it's basically a case of do you want versatility or do you want reliability? That's down to the individual player. Because stunts tend to be individualized to characters rather than skills which are generally represented in a similar manner no matter who possesses them, the Fate system offers you guides on how to build your own stunts along with examples. And stunts can do the following. They can they can add a new action to a skill. One of the most often used stunts in this regard is the backstab style stunt that allows an attacker to use stealth to make a physical attack instead of their fight score if their target isn't aware of them. Two, they can add a bonus to an action. The stunt grants a two shift effect under certain circumstances. For example, we might play a scholar who gains plus two to his law rolls to create an advantage whenever a matter involves his specialist area of research. Three, they can create a rules exception. Now, this is perhaps the most freeform and sometimes difficult to adjudicate type of stunt, since it allows you to bend or break the rules under very narrow circumstances, although they don't allow you to change the basic action rules. For example, the riposte stunt listed in the Fate Core Book allows someone who has succeeded with style on a fight roll to inflict a two-shift hit of damage rather than take a boost. Stunts can also be defined as stunt families, and these are related groups of stunts that branch off from each other and can be used to model fighting styles, scores of magic, or any area of expertise with effects that are thematically related to each other purchased in an orderly fashion. Now, to create a stunt family, you make the first stunt on the tree and then you create a handful of stunts that relate to it. One of the easiest ways to do this is just to make the original stunt more powerful. And some of the ways that you can do this are to add an additional action but narrow the circumstances under which it can be used, give an additional plus two bonus to an action or add another two shift effect, 
or if the original was a rules exception, broaden the effect of the original stunt. Now keep in mind that with this sort of system, you're effectively replacing the original stunt with a single super stunt that has cost you multiple refresh, since you've already had to pay for the prerequisite stunt or stunts. Stunt families can also be created using a branching style, where each stunt is thematically related but has a separate effect. In this, you're not so much replacing your original stunt with a super stunt version, but more buying a collection of stunts that are linked within the narrative and that have a strong theme. If you're interested in knowing more about stunts, the Fate Core Book or the Fate SRD system reference document, which I'll put a link to in the description down below, offers a few stunts relating to each of the skills in the Fate Core list. The Fate Accelerated build of the game also has a similar stunt build system or stunt rubrics as they are known, although they're obviously tweaked and a little bit more general to take into account the fact that skills aren't used in that game. The stunts in both of those books can be used as is, or at the very least they're helpful for helping you to design your own stunts. So there we go, that's a quick rundown on skills and stunts in Fate. I hope if you found this video useful and enjoyable, you'll consider clicking on the red dice up there to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments, please put them in the box down below or hit me up in the Google Plus links. As always, I really do enjoy reading what you write. So until I see you next time, take care and happy gaming wherever you are.